Morning, Sam. Morning, Mac. Morning, morning. Morning, Deb. Oh, hey, would you grab me a cup while you're over there? I wish I could. Oh, yeah, if your hands are full, I'll get to it in a second. My hand is free. I just don't have any coffee to put in it. You're falling down on your rookie duties there, Mac. I asked the volunteer to make some. Where? Port Townsend? Anti-meridium salutations to you, Officer Ryan. Uh, what are you doing here? I am exchanging my temporary compensation-free labor for a diminutive legal infraction. Huh? He's working off some community service hours. Oh, it is six. I asked you to make the coffee, not take the coffee. Fear not, fair blue bottles. I've absconded with your precious fond de caffeine only as far as the scullery. We have one of those? And proceeded to steep a new vessel forthwith. Well, clean coffee pot sounds like a good thing. I don't know. It had developed a chewiness over the years I kind of liked. <laughs> oh, hey. Before I forget, the birthday girl gets to pick lunch. Do you want to go to El Isla again? Or wait, there's that new Japanese-Scottish fusion place. Uh, listen, Mac, I'd rather not make a big deal out of it this year if it's okay with you. <laughs> wait, really? I'm just not feeling it this year. Seriously? This isn't a prank the rookie thing like that time Hawk had me call you Debbie. No. Okay, sure. That's what you want. Thanks. Are you sure? Is it so hard to grasp? I just always really liked my birthday. Good morning, fellow crime fighters. Someday you'll feel different. Morning, Hawk. Where's the coffee? You have some in your hand. This is my getting into the office coffee. From home? From the parking lot. I asked Otis Six to make a new pot. Ahoy hoy, Queen City Police Department. Kindly convey the nature of your emergency. Oh, how ghastly. And the location of your abode? We shall dispatch a pair of public servants with all haste. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging up the phone now. What's up? A homeowner astonished a larcenist in his domicile. Was anyone hurt? The miscreant departed so negative, but the gentleman is certainly somewhat put out. All right, Hawk, let's head over there and get a statement. A zero fifty? Lucky. <laughs> Lucky? Yeah, I haven't gotten to do one of those yet. You know, Rook, why don't you go ahead with Jose? You mean it? Sure. It's mostly just paperwork at this point anyway. Wow. Thanks, Detective Hawkins. Yeah, thanks, Detective Hawkins. Don't mention it. A housebreaking. This is great. <laughs> Maybe tone down the enthusiasm before we meet the victim. Can do. It's going to be a 10 cup day. I'm already two cups behind.
when are you going to come on my podcast, Kat? Aw, oh, I don't know, Hawk. I got that class at the police academy I got to get ready for. Well, we could talk about that. It, it might help you prep. <laughs> no one wants that. No, it's the history of parking enforcement. Officially the most boring thing ever. Well, maybe second most boring. So why are you teaching it then? None of the other captains wanted to. Welcome back, Officer Ryan. I have several telephone missiles for your perusal. Thanks, I think. So, how are things at the old DMB? Oh, the usual. It's about as much fun as watching cold brew. <laughs> and now we actually know what that's like. At least it didn't take too long. Yeah, still. It sucks, though, to have to do that on your birthday. You know, I'd like to know what genius decided that that's when your license should get renewed. You know, when I'm chief... Who says it's my birthday? Why else would you have gone? Maybe I'm just getting a jump on things? Look at these notes. It's like there's a code. Dawn in the laboratory conveys her felicitations on another successful circumnavigation of our shared mutual yellow dwarf. What does that even mean? Dawn in the lab says happy birthday. Ugh. Hey, what kind of cake do you want? I really don't. And this is the squad room. Is it everything you envisioned? You know, funny, I really didn't plan on coming in here today. Or ever. Just stand right there. What have we here? <laughs> what we have here is a night out on the town for the entire squad. Detective Callahan thinks this young lady will win a stupid crime of the year. <laughs> Wait. You think this is dumber than that woman who pretended to be a witness to her own crime just so she could get on TV? Uh, or dumber than that guy who tried to shoplift a 20 pound frozen turkey in his sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> dumber than giving a parking ticket to a blood mobile. Yep, yep, and did that really happen? Yeah, afraid so. <laughs> this I gotta hear. So we have our homeowner who is walking into his living room, like you do. And who does he happen to come across but our housebreaker over here who's trying to steal his laptop? Why was he even home? Bum should get a job. Naturally, he is startled. So he yells for Alexa to dial 911 and then he throws his coffee mug at the burglar who drops the loot and runs away. Yeah, I'm surprised that worked. The coffee? <laughs> Alexa. Right after he gets off the phone with Otis Six over there, he spots a movement outside his window and what do you think he sees? Another housebreaker. The same housebreaker attempting to break into the house next door. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Nosy neighbors are the worst. He keeps an eye on the situation, and when Mac and I arrive, he points us over there. And that is where we caught ourselves a fancy steak dinner. All right. <laughs> Did she come quietly? Only sort of. Oh, man. Rook, you owe me. Can I process her? Including the paperwork? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Uh, just remember to give her her phone call. You know what the saddest part of that story is? The part where I missed out on a good fight? No, the part where an entire cup of coffee goes to waste. Oda Six! Present. Is this trendy coffee brewer of yours going to finish up sometime this week? Patience is a virtue, dear officer. You know what helps my patience? Caffeine. Me? I just want a cup of coffee before I retire. Oh, come on, Debs. You're never going to retire. Maybe this is a great time for you all to try my kombucha slurry. No! no! All righty. Phone call done. Time to get some paperwork done. Name? Alethea Bonnie. Occupation? Thief. Like that's your real job? Yes. What would your mother say about that? It's only a crime if you get caught doing it. That's unusual. Well, mom's a forger, so. Your mom's a criminal too? My whole family. Mom, dad, big brother, Uncle Preston Lee. So like you went into the family business? It's just what I always figured I'd do. Okay, I'm all done with you here. Thanks for your patience. We can head over to the holding cell now. So, I guess they gave you some advice for you, in case this ever happened? Oh yeah. 
Grandma Stella always used to say, remember Alethea, in lockup, shoes make the best pillow. Sticky Finger Stella was your matriarch? Yeah. I didn't know I was addressing underworld royalty. How splendid. What must it have been like to grow up around such talent? Well, it sure made Christmas interesting. Oh. So, we're recording next week. We're scheduled to, but we're short of guests. How about Dawn from the Lab? Hawk Talk is a podcast, not a dating service. <sighs> Detective Hawkins, do you have a stapler I can borrow? Lost mine. Uh, check with Debs. Detective Ryan, can I borrow your stapler? Your report's going to be longer than one page? You've been hanging around Jose and Hawk too much. Um, uh, just a minute. Who did this? It wasn't me. Birthday! Skip around the room, skip around the room. Both shut up till you skip around the room. Skip. I guess this counts as a pretty bad day at the office for you. No kidding. It's like getting laid off. <laughs> Walking out with all your stuff in a box? Nobody likes that. See, in my line of work, that's a good day. Not to rub it in, but even on the crappiest day, on the crappiest job I've ever had, I was still free to go home. After getting caught like that, I'm better off in here for a while. It's a pretty bad situation when the jail is better. Are you safe? Oh, God, no. I mean, yes, it's not like that. Dad's just gonna be all I'm not mad, sweetheart. I'm, I'm just, just disappointed. disappointed. Exactly. You think you'd be used to it by now. I've never been any good at this. All parents have their expectations. They're the reason I'm here. Sounds like it might be time for you to consider a career change. Or maybe it's time to stop fraternizing with the perp and get back to work! Sorry, Captain. I've got a cake here. Who's the intended recipient? Yeah, that's gotta be for Deborah. Who sent that? I just deliver them where they tell me. Who did this? Who cares? Cake time. I thought I made it completely clear to everyone that my birthday is canceled this year. And don't forget the special song. Bum, bum, bum. Happy birthday. There will be no cake. Deb, could I see you in my office real quick? Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, cake boss. <laughs> nice digs you got there. Great view. You look ridiculous. I'm just not that into my birthday this year. Huh. Never expected to see you falling for that being weird about your age crap. I just don't think it's anyone's business. Listen, birthdays don't just belong to you. You know that. They are a holiday for the entire squad. Yet canceling a cake day, it's like, it's like giving a parking ticket to a hearse. What? It doesn't get you anything and you look like an ass. Why do you all of a sudden have a problem with your birthday? Because I got this in the mail last week. Dear Detective Ryan, we're happy to know you're... Oh. The approach of your retirement date 
Please see HR soon about your pension options. Blah, blah, blah. Damn. Yeah. Just sort of snuck up on me. You got a couple of years. I am in no way ready to retire. Well, what am I going to do? Learn to knit? Listen, just because you can, it doesn't mean you have to. Oh, I've worked here long enough to know how it goes. They shunt you off to the DMV counter until you're begging to leave. Hey, listen, as long as I am here, that's not going to happen. And you know, you start thinking that maybe they're right. I mean, you are getting older. Your reflexes are getting slower. I mean, that's just biology. Yeah, I, I don't even understand my phone messages these days. Maybe I should just go gracefully. Okay, all right, that is some nonsense right there. Okay, Deborah, De well, Otis Six talks like a 19th century school marm. So if anything, you not understanding him means that you aren't old. Okay, and, and B, you say that you're slower, but you could still take any one of us any day of the week. <laughs> Look, thank you for saying that. Well, oh, no, I, I'm not just saying that. The cadets at the academy, they still talk about how Officer Ryan took over defensive tactics last fall. <laughs> Even when you do lose your edge, if, if you lose your edge, how am I going to keep those knuckleheads out there in line without you, huh? You think I'm going to forget what I owe the woman who taught me everything I know about being a cop? No, not a chance, lady. Well, shit, Sandra. Now I'm going to have to punch you in the throat for making me cry. You're welcome. <laughs> now let's go get some cake. All righty. Let's have some cake, you vultures. Hi. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hawk. Let's get a picture first. Uh, all right, everybody. Say cheese. Cheese. Red Lester. <laughs> Alrighty, let me go clean this off and we can all dig in. Hey, you think I can have a slice? Sure, why not? Allow me. Happy to do anything for Sticky Finger Stella's progeny. Great, then you won't mind being my human shield. <coughs> oh, Alright, yeah, who's laughing now, oh, huh? Right, right. This is happening. Hashtag blessed! <gasps> Maybe now I'll get a nickname of my own. <laughs> Alethea the escape artist. Or how about Jailbird Bonnie? Oh. 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 Well, I guess the old girl still got it in her after all. <laughs> what did I tell you? When you're right, you're right. <laughs> I've got a cake for an officer, Deborah Ryan, here from her friends at the DMV. Another one? Well, why not? At my age, I've earned a second cake. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think maybe it's time for a career change. I think that is a great idea. Has anyone seen my wallet? Attention! The fragrant brew is in readiness. Finally. Pour me a cup. It's 4.57. Don't you think it's a little late to be drinking coffee? In Queen City. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 